but it's such a risky pick in this 1v1 mode because you have to just all in basically and he yeah. might not want to risk it in the first game he's playing. Yeah, also a, ma a melee matchup that is very mana gated is going to be hard to play. Ooh. Oh. New Twitch could be very interesting for 1v1s against the Twitch. Like, yes, he can outrage her for like one or two hits. I mean, that's, that might be enough. I mean, this champion is very squishy. Exhaust is king on the Howling Abyss. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Ignite comes out. There's double if not going for heal, obviously, because that gets countered by Ignite a lot on these matches. Remember, these guys usually have actual blind pick. That's why we very rarely see a heal. Double if makes it into the bush first. It gets that's really good. A few hits up, but again, Wailers can recall. Yeah, he can base, but having control of second brush is important. And Twitch poison. The poison actually making it harder for Wailers to recall. So by the time he's back at base now, minions should be ready to spawn and might. Cost him just a little bit in the end because there's the minions. It doesn't matter five. that he's in time for experience, it matters that he loses right to first engagement on the wave, which means double if will have the push going, and that is very needed for a Twitch. Yeah. If you push in an 80 carry like Twitch, he's gonna suffer. And one of the big things, especially uh, when one guy is slightly behind on how fast they make it to the middle, is if you can make it into the second brush, like the enemy's brush, it's so easy for you to like weave in and get like again that green file gives extra auto attack on them, making it much harder for them. Chain first from Wayless. does deal a lot of damage if you get the second proc. It works if you're behind, because you know this, this AD carry is going to kind of start walk up on you, like right there, but double still had to push. Notice how he did, once he's one minion ahead, he knows he can actually go for little trades in between as well. That's and strong from double inch. Yeah, what double also can do in this matchup, uh, now that it's against an AP champion, is go Hexstringer. Of course. Which is so huge with Hexstringer, Barrier, Exhaust, like there's so many defensive tools against like a lot of burst from another champion, making it much easier for him to win trades. But that's obviously in 1300, 1400 gold. Yeah, we're also about to witness the, the main weakness of a LeBlanc pick is CSing on a turret. Really hard to do so if you're not having access to continuous mana pool. Yeah, we talked about how the tower works with the caster minions. With the melee minions, it's actually even more annoying because the tower will deal about 50% damage on the melee minions. So if you don't hit it at all, the tower will just take it down on the second shot. And there's nothing you can do against it. Wayless went for a W that lasted a minion at the same time and hit double lift. But his E missed, which gives double the preferential trade. He needs to keep this wave position like this, though. He's waiting for the minion, to, the, the relic to spawn. He gets it. These guys obviously have practiced a metric ton of games, so they know exactly when this relic comes out. Yeah, the bank will keep missing a CS on the tower 100%. And also allowing double to throw the poison down exactly where he did it here. So Wayless has to decide between standing in the poison and getting the last hit. But double just took oh, a shot there. That's the problem. This poison will continuously give you Tower Aggro the second you step forward. Because Doublelift was setting up to punish Wayless when he went for a CS. But the tower triggered a lot earlier than he expected. And this was huge because Doublelift instantly used like Souls. Wayless kept his. He went for like a bait all in where he goes for the summer spell, for a summoner spell. Jumps instantly back. And now because he has distortion, he can close the gap again Ooh. with Exhaust. He can go for a fake base into Q. Oh, he tried to. Because the chain is down. If he Use the sweeper. There we go. Damn, I got so into that. Don't like, yell that loud, man. Yeah! You can hear. They're like really close. <laughs> got the spot. That's why you go with Sweeper. You actually can't go any ward trinkets anyway, because they wouldn't make any sense on this map here. And Wayless again, he wants to jump in with Distortion, exhaust onto Double Lift, and try and all in him in that potential trade. But there is still barrier for the Twitch. Oh, this that is going to be a big time. Second, the W misses here. The momentum shifts to Double Lift. The lane is neutral right here. Double Lift has access to the creeps earlier. Look, yeah, he's just gonna use that W for wave clear. Uh, double is taking control again on the matchup. Definitely, but Wayless constantly with four. It seems like he just wants a bit of poke damage. Now Double will have to be so careful because Wayless can actually engage and take him down. I like how Wayless is just playing like the poke game. It looks like he's all inning every time, but he instantly jumps back. Yeah, double lift sitting on 1200 gold going to base here. Bought a Dorn's Blade and then we're like, whoops, wrong item, sold it again. And of course, it's going towards Hexstringer. Wayless might have to just push this out and go back because he doesn't want to be this many items down. Okay. But once level six first, most likely. Reset the wave as well. But look at how annoying it is for LeBlanc. She never wants to use spells in these waves. Yeah, and she's actually too far away from level six to get it before Double is back in this uh, lane here. So he's not really losing out on anything, and he is going to get quite an advantage on CS. Yeah, he could actually just freeze here too to deny a couple of creeps, but again, this is not in the matchup where it goes to 100 CS. If this was a 100 CS matchup, a freeze would deny about four creeps by the time Wales is back, but it would put you on the risk of then having to CS on a tower. You would only freeze if you have a 
AoE champion that can then immediately clear out the wave. And now if you guys look at the items, you see Double Lift had to spend all his gold on actual items and no sustain in here other than what he gets from the Dorn's Blades here. Where Wayless actually managed to get some sustain with the potion and that can be very important when he's jumping in and poking and then jumping back and trying to out sustain a little bit. We are looking at a minor experience advantage for Double Lift though. This may just end. Once he hits level 6, he is super close right now. You guys can't see it from the camera. So obviously blocking it. I really like that trade from Wayless there. He jumps in with the W, so he applies his signal of balance to passive now. Oh, we actually see they're going all in! Three chains. He can go for it, just go for it, man! One more hit! Almost too easy! A LeBlanc pick as an assassin is supposed to kill 80 carries early on, as you can see. Double Lift never really had enough damage to threaten the LeBlanc, and he got him down to 50%, basically, with that one. Wayless not even smiling. He's like, business as usual. I'm done. I've taken down Double Lift. And both North American players who made it to the final last year are out. In round one. In round one. Not good for Team Fire, but Team Ice. Oh, my. They're doing And these are all kind of sub-50 game wins as well. We're waiting, obviously, for Froggen uh, to hopefully show up at this 1v1 yeah. tournament, pick some Nasus. Luckily for us, he isn't here. 